back, everyone. Alongside Ray Ferraro, I'm James Cebalski. It's a hockey ultimate team matchup here this evening, and we're ready to bring you all the action. The officials there at center, and I think we are about to get this one underway. Oh, I've been waiting for this all day, and we are now officially underway. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Engvall. Across the line from center. The Maple Leafs ready to go on the attack. And he regains control of the puck. Oh, it goes right up the post. Hey, can we have a bounce so somebody can call a goal here? That shot hits the post and stays out. Keeps hold of the puck. The Canadians take possession here in the open ice. You'll need more than that to beat him. Great heads up play to poke it away in the offensive end. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Montreal's got possession of the puck. Here's a shot! Scores! The home team's on the board! And that is a textbook start for a home team. Get the early first goal, make the road guys start to chase you. Well, I guess we know what's on the clips tomorrow in the video room, James. The defenseman standing directly behind the net when the puck's out front before it gets shot into the net. Still plenty of time left in this frame. The Canadians have taken a 1-0 lead. Scoops up the puck now. Peach is taking it from his own end. Huberto's got it deep in the offensive end. Peach has got it in the defensive end. Oh, a violent collision in the open ice. Now sending a message early there, James. He gets the body contact. From his own end, he picks up the puck. Picked up along the wall by Peach. Takes it into the slot. Oh, he denies them with the stick save as it goes off the shaft of the stick. Oh, that puck comes to him flat. He's looking for the score. Bang, bang, play. The goalie's got no chance. When you're in that close and you get the chance to one-time it, you're likely going to score unless you hit the goalie. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. Montreal's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. And a smart heads-up play to poke that away by Berthelay. Quick feed to Barreau up along the wall by Prokop. And now he moves it to Kaprizov. It's a chance on the rush. Two on one. Turn that one aside. Here he is in front. Scores! They are on fire. Yeah, and it's all different sources too. Score a goal, make a change, get another one. Nothing seems to slow them down. When you get into this position, that puck's got to be off your stick in a hurry. You don't have much time to think about it. Past the halfway mark of this period, Montreal's really put the squeeze on here now, up by three. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Kaprizov. There's the whistle as the play was offside. Teams are ready for the draw. The linesman about to drop the puck. Off the draw, and he ties up his opponent. away in the offensive zone by Kaprizov. Scoops up the puck here. Move to the middle. Big save in front. Nice move by the goalie to get out close to the shooter. Back to the point it goes. Long jam in front. That's broken up. Moves it to Bergeron. Turns it aside with the pad. What a great... Oh, there's going to be a penalty on this play here, James. Let's see what the officials are calling. Hey, you come out, you're excited, you got good intentions, but man, it snowballed the wrong way against these guys tonight. Montreal's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. You want to win the special teams battle almost every night. 
Well, the power play's first chance to check in here. We'll see what they can get done. Trying to clear the zone. And they do just that. Oh, I thought they did a pretty good job there, James. That's a time you can get yourself running around in the zone. They didn't get there. Stoppage and play offside the call. Kopitar is gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. The Maple Leafs get a hold of the puck off the draw. The Canadians have it from their own end. Passes it over to Raquel. Rister off the glove. These are frustrating. You don't get many chances like this. I thought he made a good shot, but the goalie, an excellent stop, beats the shooter. The Maple Leafs get a hold of the puck along the boards. Montreal's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Scores! Putting the power in power play. Did just about everything right on that man advantage. They capitalized. He's in the bumper position in the middle of the slot. They move the puck around and find him in the middle, and he makes no mistake. Well past the midway mark of this period, Montreal's now up by four. And they take possession. Nice job tangling him up on the draw. The Maple Leafs look to start the transition game. And he'll take a moment to regroup back at center. From center, they get into the attacking area. From the point, looks to make something happen. The Maple Leafs gain possession along the wall. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Great heads-up play in the neutral zone by Crawford. Manages to hang on. Great use of the stick here at center ice. Montreal's got the puck in the defensive end. The Maple Leafs have it against the wall. And he moves it up to Bunting. There's the whistle icing the call. Big face-off looming. Here in the late going of the frame, it's 4-0. This has been a one-sided affair right from the get-go. Here's a short pass to Serpa. Montreal's got the puck along the boards. Scooped up along the wall by Dickerson. Puck picked up by Zadina. There's the horn, ending the first period. Both teams will have a chance to regroup. You do you, and we'll be back for period number two in a moment. Device period two is set to go. Set to get underway here in the second period. We'll see if they can stop the bleeding. Well, we've got over 20 minutes played thus far. Ray, how have you seen things? The Canadians sure were ready to start in that first period. They had the majority of the possession and are pretty well in control of this game now. Montreal's got the puck along the wall. Oh, he got the pace of it with the glove. Excellent chance. They work the puck into position, and it's a scoring chance that's turned away. Oh, textbook poke check to turn that over. Picked up along the boards by Good Branson. With the bank pass. Quick shot, and he stands tall in goal. Montreal's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Scores! Well, they haven't given up just yet. No, but there's still a long road to go, James, before they can realistically think that they're back in this game. But you get one, maybe you get another one quickly, and you can turn the tide. He's looking at the replay up on the clock. He can't believe that this puck hit him as it did and still went into the net. 
The Maple Leafs needed that one as they get back to center ice. They need a lot more than that. It's really been a poor performance by them so far. Montreal's won it. Here's a shot, and the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Unbeatable! Doesn't lose his focus as he makes a couple of quick ones in a row. Here we go, odd man rush here. Oh, they do it again! Quick reflexes and good positioning to make a couple of stops in a row. Grabbed along the board, they score! Did he deliver a heavy load on that one? One-timer from the high slot. He's open, and this is not stopped. Montreal's been dominant tonight as they make their way back to center. They have scored almost their will, in particular here in this second period. Puck grab by Shabbat. Now that's a great heads up in the defensive zone to force the turnover. Moves the puck along the half wall. The Maple Leafs scoop it up along the boards. The Canadians have it behind the net. The Maple Leafs get a hold of the puck in their own end. That's off a stick. Oh, what a paddle save on the play. Ross plays it now. Great reach by Zadina. Moves inside. Scores! You get one, you get hungry for a second one. Even if you're not a goal scorer, you get that early. Now you want to hunt for a second goal. Makes it a double on the play. That's a bad place to burp up the puck right there. And unfortunately for him, the shooter makes no mistake. It's a perfect shot inside the post. Montreal's quickly filling up the highlight reel shows for later this evening, Ray. They are, even though it's in the second period still, they have scored almost at will tonight. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Matthews, oh, look at this, break away. More could be done there. That's a good shot, but the goalie makes a great stop. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. Bergeron's going off for interference. Well, as both teams dig in for the face-off here just moments away, it's our first opportunity to look at the power play unit here. They've worked on the power play a lot at practice over the last couple of days. This is their first one tonight, and they'll want to execute what they've worked on, which is to win the draw and start moving the puck. Maintains possession. Kopitar is gaining momentum. Takes a shot. Oh, and it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Muzzin's lugging the puck. Musa quickly over to Engvall. And there's the whistle icing the call. Eichel's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. He scores! Even under man, they deliver. Yeah, it's a sloppy play by the power play. But shorthanded, they get aggressive, they get up the ice and are able to score while down a man. Wow, did he snap that back clean. It's right on the tape of the shooter and he hammers it home. The Canadians seem to be turning this into a pad the stat night. Those are always fun. I mean, if you're on this side of it. Yes. If you're on the other side, no fun allowed. And still lots of time here in this second period. Oh, that's gonna be a penalty. They're gonna have to call that. We got a whistle, penalty coming up. Eichel's been nabbed for tripping. The Maple Leafs have a brief five on three looming. Really tough to win when your power play's negative on the night. They gave up that shorthanded goal earlier, James. They gotta get it back here. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Quick pass to Seuss. Bergeron's back out onto the ice, and they will continue to play shorthanded here. Looking to clear the defensive zone. And it's a small victory for the PK unit here. Well, that's their job. Get it down the ice, get off the ice, get some new people out there. And here's a shot! Up, he scores! And they finally get up off the king 
does here, Ray. Yeah, that feels like a day late and a dollar short. They've given up so many goals. No here. kidding. Really effective power play there. They move the puck around, and they're able to find him right in the middle of the slot. The Maple Leafs still have a big mountain to climb here in the second. Yeah, but they show a little life, I guess, James. I mean, things have gone so poorly for them, but that goal has to give them a little energy. Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. And now it's grabbed by Crawford. Nice zone entry from the right side. Moves the puck. Takes the shot. And there's the save. Great forecheck by Raquel. Taken along the wall by McDavid. Here he is in close. Nice save from point blank range. So easy to see from here. He's so powerful. When he gets that little bit of room, he's going right to the net. He's fast, he's strong, he's powerful. The goalie just beats him this time. Taken by Horstman. Denies the ball play. Montreal's gained possession along the boards. Break away. Really good effort. I thought he made a, a good play on the net, but the goaltender's right on top of it. Oh, look at that. Here we go. We got a penalty coming up right here. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. The coach just looks skyward as his team's taken its third penalty of this period. The Maple Leafs send their man advantage unit out once more. Power plays run hot and cold. If you've already got one in the game, which they do, go get another. Go get another. Be hungry. Can't connect on the pass. The Maple Leafs take it along the wall. Second. He's got a little jump. All alone. Almost lost the puck. He scores. Another shorthanded marker. You don't see that often. No, they're not a very passive group killing penalties, are they? That's a couple of times where they've just taken advantage of a mistake and raced up the ice. He doesn't need much room here to be able to put this puck onto the tape. He's got this ability to find the open player and then make that pass perfect so it can be received. Guys, you need players who can distribute the puck, and he does it so well. He uses that tape-to-tape -tape zone ability to make those crisp passes and help his teammates score. That was a great example of it on that last play. Muzzin's moving the puck through his own zone. Quick feed to Engvall. Puck scooped up by Kopitar. Here's an opportunity. Gobbles the puck up there with a the chest. There it is, that's a wrap for period number two. Both teams will get a chance to get a little breather here, and we'll come back, third period action, next. periods down one more to go and they're ready to drop the puck here on period number three Montreal's penalty killers welcome that intermission and they get things going on the right note winning the draw Hedman's time is almost done the Maple Leafs certainly didn't get the result they wanted on that power play giving up a shorthanded marker well that doesn't go according to plan the power play's done and they've given up a shorty those are always deflating here he is, wrists it on net. That's blocked. Can't get it to go. Tried to connect the pass, but it doesn't go. The Maple Leafs move to the offensive zone. The Canadians will play it in their own end. Aaron pass, and they can't connect. Picked up along the wall by Engvall. And it comes up with the save. Moves the puck across to Raquel. 
Looking all alone. And that's a busted play. Great effort to come all the way back. Beaten at one end, turns it aside at the other. Tremendous hustle. Denies the shooter on that play. Price has stopped when he's had to, but it's been an easy night. Not much work in a big lead. Raquel's got it against the boards. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Hangs onto the puck. And now it's grabbed by Raquel. And that's a great defensive heads up to force the turnover. Shabbat's got a great shot, and the key to his accuracy is when he shoots the puck when it's settled down on the ice and not bobbling on him. That accuracy is what we call his snipe zone ability, guys. And a stick in the lane deflects that one away. Great pressure to force the turnover by Matthews. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. Teams are ready to go, and we're about moments away from puck drop. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. He looks deep to punting. Poked away by Prokop. Quick feed to Seuss. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. The Maple Leafs take possession in the defensive end. Takes it across the blue line. And not much on that one. Takes the puck along the boards. The Maple Leafs take over on possession. Gains the zone through center. The Canadians take it along the wing. That's not going to fool them. Puck picked up by Crawford. Montreal's got it from behind the net. Puck grabbed by Horstman. And that's stolen by Kane. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. The Maple Leafs gain control of the puck against the wall. Montreal's got it now. Oh, and it stays out with the toe save. The Canadians move it in. Quick shot. Couldn't light the lamp on that. What a chance. Sometimes the puck just doesn't go where you want to finish it. He makes a good shot, but he can't capitalize. Easily turned aside by Price. From the place 99 made famous. Scooped up along the wall by Carlson. The Canadians played along the boards. Let's the wrister go. He scores! Eric Carlson! Now coaches talk about getting to the front of the net, make it difficult on the goalie, take his eyes away. Man, he only could see the players' butts in front of him. He can't even see the puck. The Canadians could almost put this one in neutral here for the rest of this third period. They've dominated much of this game, and the score is clearly reflective of that. Score by number 65. To the front! Good look. Not a good result, though. Now they can't cash in if they can't get it on the net. Really good play to set up the chance, but nothing for it. And that's knocked aside with the stick by Eichel. Picked up along the boards by Huberto. The Canadians take it across the line. Nothing doing on that. And that's knocked away by Eichel. Hedman's got the puck. And he makes the easy save. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. And we're moments away from getting back underway here with the puck drop. Montreal's won the draw. And he comes up with a huge stop. The Maple Leafs move the puck in the defensive zone. Under a minute to go in the third. Moves it to McDavid. And that doesn't exactly go take to take. Skates to the crease. Turns it aside with the glove. Scores! Three straight goals here. They have really laid the boots to those guys in the last little bit. You make a mistake that big, there's only one place you're gonna find the puck. Yeah, that's in your net. That's where the puck is. Montreal's lamp lighting performance continues here with another goal in the third. They can walk home. They have dominated this third period. They've stretched the lead out into a really comfortable margin. 
poked away by Kopitar. Knocked away. Taken by Kucherov. Heads deep inside the offensive zone. Rocked him in the open ice. Montreal's got possession of the puck. Final buzzer sounds, and this one's in the books. The Canadians had a lot of areas to like about their game tonight. What stood out for you, Ray? Oh, I'd say the, the amount of time they had the puck on their stick. They seemed to be in control of the way the game was played and at the speed it was going to be played at. You know, there was a time it almost seemed like it was cool to ignore the fans after a game, but man, it's way more audience participation now. Well, it's all part of the bigger picture. This is supposed to be entertainment. They cheer you, you salute them. Everybody goes home happy. In the meantime and in between time, he's Ray, I'm James. Good night.